Hi you guys, we're doing a prop to pad, trying to figure out if our motor is hung right, we need to go up, we need to go down, anyway we're trying to figure this out, so what what Chuck has just shown me is that we got a, we got a nice four foot level, okay, and so this four foot level we're going to put it down here on the ground. And if you look, we are a quarter bubble off. So the ground's not level. All right, we know it's a quarter bubble off. So then we're gonna take this up to the boat. And I, I'll probably put it here no, just- you can't put it there because of your perco socket. Oh. There you go. I just set it on the deck. Well, anyway, we can still see that we are a quarter bubble. Yeah. So what we did is we lowered, or you got to raise the tongue until you get this quarter bubble just like the ground is. All right, so now that we got this right, we got our boat as level as we can make it. Then we're going to come back to the back. So then we're going to come back to the back, and Chuck has a has a just a jack, and he's got a board, and he's jacked this up so it's just touching. Uh, we've well got like a straight. You could use any kind of ruler. We got a big four foot drywall ruler, but anyway, you put that up against your pad, and then what you're going to do is you're going to measure from the ground. Okay, up to that level. But you want to make sure, guys, to measure as close to the pad as you can so you get an accurate measurement. Right. Because that, that obviously is probably a quarter inch thick or however. Then we're going to take the same level. We're going to level this engine so that we got that quarter bubble. You can see it here on the torpedo level. And then he's, he's got a torpedo level right here. We got a quarter bubble. And then we're going to go and we're going to measure from the middle of this prop to our ground. And then we're, we're going to take those two numbers and we're going to subtract them. And then that's going to give us our prop to pad measurement. And it's going to tell us if this motor is too high in the air or too low in the water. And in our case, it is too low in the water. Well, so for my boat, we haven't measured yours just yet. Right, but for your boat, what it was like four and a half inches. Yeah. So what yeah, we're I, I could go over those dimensions with them if you want me to. Yeah, Jeff. sure. So the the pad was fifteen and five eighths inches, and the prop was eleven and an eighth, and so that leaves four and a half inches. Four and a half inches. So. On Mercury, between each one of these holes is exactly one inch. So what we're thinking is we're going to have to raise this one inch, and then we're going to see where we're at. Yeah, come up one hole. Come up one hole, and then, because he may have the right prop. Right. And uh, we had Terry, Terry Berry Closter, he, he commented, and thank you for that. Uh, but he said something wasn't right. Our engine's fine, it's running fine, it's our prop is a problem. And a lot of you guys are saying, well, you got what, a 25 pitch prop? Well, I've, I've kind of backed off of that because I now that I've discovered this today, I think we need to fix the pop, prop to pad first. Yes. And then take it out for a test run. Because we may not even have a prop issue. Oh, I don't think we have a prop issue. I think we got a prop to pad issue. Yeah. But what is your pop, prop? Is it a 20, 25 pitch? It's a 25 it's a Mercury, pitch. It's uh, Tempest. Yeah, so this is a, this is a, you know, this is a Champion 198 with a 25 pitch Tempest. And uh, a lot of guys are running those. And so, anyway, we need to get some more RPMs. Yeah, because the, the problem I'm having right now is I'm running about 5,100 RPMs floored, and I'm only getting about 56 mile an hour. So it's 
it's doggy out of the hole, right. and my top end's gone. So I knew something was way off. And see, I think the same thing is happening with my champion. I have a 202. I think it says too low. And I, I went to a four blade prop. But uh, if I if I fill up my live wells, uh, man, it's do even doggy out of the hole. So I think that it's just sitting way too low in the water. Yep. And uh, so anyway, we, now we got to figure out how we can lift these safely. Um, I don't have a forklift. I don't have a lift. I've got an engine lift, and I think I can do chucks, but I'm not sure if I yeah, can do mine. Also, guys, leave a comment if any of you guys do this where you could lift motors up, you know. Just let us know. Yeah, I'm gonna. I may have to find somebody here in town that would, like, you know, do it for me cheaply. Cause really, we'll do it. Well, it's just four bolts. Yeah, I mean, it's not. I mean, it's just going to. It's. I don't have to reseal a jack plate. I don't have to do any of that. I just got to take four bolts and take them out. Right. You know. Now this thing is made where it will go up, but we. Don't, I don't even think we want to mess with that. I think we can leave leave the jack play alone and then we just raise it up you know, Jeff, one hole now that i'm thinking about this i'm wanting to put guys i'm wanting to put the leash on my motor i don't know if you guys are know what that is but it's it's basically a a, a cable you can mount on and it goes all the way around the back of your motor and it keeps the motor from coming up into the cockpit if you were to hit a stump going 55 mile an hour right well, I'm wondering if I should go ahead and buy the leash since we got to move this motor anyway. What is the, the leash tap onto yeah, the bolts? Yeah, taps onto the bolts. So. Huh. Well, I don't know. So I, guess, I, like to, I like to look into that. Just something else to look into, you know. To be continued, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, we wanted to kind of show that. And if, here's here's the thing, you know, like here's my my champion. And you can see, like, even with the hose, how it kind of runs out of ram, and it is rubbing down here. No big deal, but if you look at this, this one needs to come up too. And I got a big jack plate, and I could jack up the jack plate some more, you know, or I could just move one hole, and that would be right to the middle of this, and then call it a day. Um, anyway, but I don't know if my little engine lift could do this, and I don't know if I want to do it safely. So, well, in the meantime, I mean, I have lifted the motor up with, uh, you know, with, uh, see, now in Jeff's case, something that I noticed because he kind of had the same problem with his when he first got his boat, and that is that. He had, I think he had a 27 pitch prop on here, which I thought was kind of high, you know, that's, that's well, way yeah, up way there, high. you know, and, uh, but it was the same deal. It was doggy out of the hole and it never had all that gray to top in, you know, with that other prop. So I'm wondering if that's the problem here too. And it, I, well, I even tri tried a uh, 24 pitch three blade oh did you and i was still having the same problem and then uh james at performance propeller suggested that i i uh you know go to a four blade so yeah but i don't think that's our problem i think our problem is the same issue you yes have. yes and, and we'll get to measuring yours and get that figured out because you know yeah, see, when I these think motors, mine's almost the same thing. It's like four and a half inches. I'll mention this. When they're low in the water like that, and they're running doggy out of the hole, and you're losing your top end, you're stressing that motor out. So get it fixed. Yeah. Because you're going you're gonna to reduce your engine hours, I guarantee you. Yeah, well, your fuel economy should improve, too. I mean, just a lot of things. Yeah. So it affects a lot. It's not just the ride. All right. Well, I'm Jeff Hawkeye Marine Chuck over here at Hookset Hawk, and uh, thanks.
thanks for subscribing and watching the videos and uh, we'll have this to be continued and I'll update you on uh, what we end up doing on these so until next time be safe on the water and go do something absolutely